you see a flagpole with no flag on it. And that's not right. Uh, this country never was so great about their veterans, but I felt that the idea was to fly the flag to honor everybody that's serving or did serve. This way when you come home, you can see something to remind you why you were out there. And that's Tony Clark, who was a Phillies flag man. Now for the last 15 years, a Navy vet and Water Department employee has replaced more than uh, 200 missing or tattered American flags mm. at recreation centers, but I must say this on his own expense, all right? He's buying the flags. He's buying the flags, true American. But unfortunately, his love for his country has gotten him into a little bit of trouble. I have a 40 foot extension ladder and I know I can use that as long as I can have access to the flagpole, I can use my ladder. When I don't have access, easy access, then I try to get my hands on a bucket truck. Now the bucket trucks, they belong to the city of Philadelphia and now the Water Department's Employee and Labor Relation Unit wants to investigate whether or not he was using it on the city's time mm -hmm. and also was he using the city equipment within itself. Uh, I've received a statement from them and they told me our concerns are primarily related to whether or not mm -hmm. uh, he was using the city's equipment safely and if he was doing it when he was supposed to be working at the Philadelphia Water Department. Now Tony says that he would fix the flags when he was off the clock, uh, but according to him, the trucks belong to private contractors or the Parks and Recs Department. Okay, he doesn't right. know. So um, he had a hearing scheduled back in May to kind of sort everything out, but he could not attend because he was recovering from a heart valve surgery. A new hearing has not been scheduled yet. So, I mean, let's just say that the city's investigation turns out that these are city trucks. My question would be, why is the city not putting these flags back? This guy ought to get a raise for what he's doing. This shouldn't even be a controversy. It's ridiculous. If the city was doing it, it cost 10 times as much. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The bottom line here you're is right. that there's yeah. no good deed that goes unpunished. Yeah. Without having a whole program or without them having to do it all themselves, why can't a couple of people just informally sort of help him I out, know. recognize the good intention, yeah. and just help the guy put the flags up put and maybe straighten them out if he puts a ladder in the wrong place or oh something? Oh, my it's God. I know. It's a huge deal. Well, the City Works Department has an absolute right to know where their employees are at all times while they're on the clock. Uh, yes, he's a patriot, but he definitely should not be doing that if he's supposed to be doing city work. You have a guy over here who works for the water department who's doing their job. Yeah. So what are they doing? So that's that's where my that's where right, I, I agree with you. negligence there. So that's where my issue comes. Where's the place. new mayor? He's got an awful lot to say about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, you know, soda they, taxes and that's um, what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah they, crime you know. in the streets and everything else. Well, where's he on this? Anything? Nothing. A flag for every poll, Spadia. <laughs> flag for every poll, Hank. This guy's a patriot.